What's going on everybody? Hope you guys had a good week. It is Friday, which means we've got another indie game suggestion for your consideration. And uh, this week we are checking out a little game called Lonely Mountains Downhill, as you guys can see. Now, I tried to make a video of this a couple of times, uh, just trying to record stuff and then talk about it after the fact. I didn't really think that that video came out all that well. So instead, we're actually just gonna play it and try to explain it to you. It's a very simple concept, like many of the games that I've been uh, promoting the past month. This is a chill game, no story, but it is definitely much more difficult than some of the other games that I've shown in the past. So uh, let's go ahead and start here. I've unlocked a few maps already. I've had this game for a very long time. The reason that I picked it up was very simply because of the art style. I know it's low poly, but in my opinion, it looks great. And uh, it is, again, much more difficult than I could explain. So I thought I would show you guys. So first things first, uh, there is um, a few of different uh, peaks and mountains that you can go ahead and check out. And the main point of this game is to start from your beginning point and make it to the end of the trail. Very, very simple. There are multiple paths though that allow you to either make it faster or more challenging for yourself depending on which way you go. So I've, I've unlocked these two places. This is the first one that we got. Um, we've also got some customization which we can do here. Uh, again, I have not unlocked a lot of stuff because it is very, very difficult, much more difficult than I originally thought. But uh, as you unlock brand new bikes, they have some different things that will help you out. For example, this one uh, is made for sharp corners and short sprints, but should be kept away from drops. So if you drop from a high height, you're probably going to crash. And there's lots of other bikes like that that you can go ahead and unlock if you're good enough. I am not. Uh, I think you can also customize your character, which, there you go, you can customize your rider a little bit. Um, you can choose outfits as well. There you go. Not a big deal there. Uh, you can choose helmets. Let's see. I'm not sure if we can take it off. You can't take it off. Change the body, male, female. Uh, you can change skin color. So that's cool. You can add hair. I don't think uh, we really need hair, but we'll go ahead and put some hair on right now. Why not? Let's make it dark and long. I guess we're a dude with braids. That's totally fine. And uh, sure, why not, man? Let's make that work for us for some reason. Uh, again, we've got progression, we've got leaderboards, but let's jump into the game so that you guys can check it out. Now, at the very beginning, uh, I've already unlocked this rocky stairs. Uh, but the very first one is the Widow's Ravine. Now, uh, there are some different types of things that you can start with. As a beginner, you can do this, and if you do this in under three minutes or less, with 21 crashes or fewer, you get to unlock some stuff. You guys can see I've already got those done. Uh, we've got some of these, but I'm just going to try the beginner one for the purposes of this video. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Now again, I think it's very nice. The game is very calming. Uh, it's just the sounds of nature and your bike tires rustling against the ground. But uh, if you want, you can totally go just on the trail to make things uh, nice and easy. I would suggest doing that first. But then as you get to know the mountain or the trail that you're on, you can start looking for shortcuts. Uh, the A button allows you to sprint so you can push a little harder. Ooh, I missed a shortcut up there. But we'll try to get down the mountain. And I don't know if we'll do good or not, but we'll see if we can make it all the way to the end. Oh, that's not going to be good, buddy. Okay, there you go. I totally could have taken that jump. Totally missed it. Now again, this seems easy, but for the most part, I'm sticking to the trail right now. If you can find shortcuts, they are rewarding, although they are much more challenging to get. So like there's a shortcut right here that if you can land it just right, you can gain a little bit more time on your mountain, but then stuff like that happens. And that's going to happen constantly, especially whenever you're not doing the free ride, whenever you're doing the objective based ones where you have to finish the entire course in a certain amount of time or without a certain amount of crashes, it gets much harder. I almost did not make that jump. Let's go slower here. 
And again, I, I just think it's a really nice, peaceful game, but this one definitely, most definitely, gets a lot uh, more challenging than some of the other games I've suggested uh, for this past month. Go, land it. Good job, buddy. No, oh, that was a tree. I know what you're thinking. Why would you drive straight into a tree? I don't know, dude. It's very difficult. Oh, no. I missed that turn so hard. So, if you do what I'm doing right now, you are going to end up going back and forth between your checkpoints. Now, at the very end... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and quit this run. I think you guys see what I'm talking about here. But at the very end, uh, there is one challenge that if you go here and go to free ride, you have to complete the entire thing from start to finish without crash. And that makes it much more difficult. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you. Let's go ahead and jump into one more of the trails. We'll do the other trails so you can see like the differences between the two mountains that we've got here. Uh, again, we will do this one and I just did Explorer now we're gonna do beginner. I doubt I'm gonna be able to finish it, but we'll go ahead and check it out All right, let's see what we got here now. I haven't done too much of this trail So I might not know where I'm going I definitely oh god. Oh, yeah, that's gonna leave a mark. I'm Not sure where I'm going on this one. I think I've only played this map twice and uh, I, there's a lot more trees on this one, bro. Nice. Nail, no, no, nailed it. First try, man. Oh no, that's water. Wrong way, buddy. Come back up this way. Come on. I think I just drowned myself. I'm still at the beginning. I haven't even made it to the first checkpoint yet. I mean, a good tip would be to stick to the trail, like I told you guys at the very beginning. I'm not taking my own advice here. Alright, let's try to stick to the- there you go. There's one. I really wanted to make that jump, but I don't know if I would survive that. So let me try to get back on the trail. Also, um, if you're not directly on the trail, if you're on grass or dirt, you do need to pump to pick up speed, otherwise you will be slowed down quite a bit, and that can affect uh, whenever you're going for objectives, such as trying to finish the trail in a certain amount of time, and stuff like that. So you do want to stay on the trail as much as possible, but if you're on the grass like we are now, you do want to use your pump so that you can uh, try to bike a little bit harder. What was that? Four, I think? I'm only gonna go until we wreck. I think you guys get the basic idea of this game. It's a cool game. I really like the art style. That's why I picked it up. It's way, way more challenging than the other games I've suggested in the past. But um, it is a game that I wanted to suggest to you guys. Again, indie games I absolutely love. I wanna help support the devs. So if you guys are interested in checking out Lonely Mountains Downhill, is that what it's called? I always feel like I get that wrong. It's a weird name, Lonely Mountains Downhill. Go pick it up for yourself. It's available on Xbox. Obviously, that's where I'm playing it. Not sure where else it's available. I will leave everywhere it's available in the description. But go support indie game developers and check this game out if you guys are interested in it. As always, we will see you guys next Friday with another indie game suggestion. Love you guys. Have a good weekend. Don't forget to like, share, and sub. And I'll see you guys next time.